or a pencil on there, so I'm, you're going to get a mark that's going to look like this. And that's going to be a different mark than what these previous marks are, because mm -hmm. those marks look like this. Exactly. You see? And that's a different quality of a mark. Now, there's nothing wrong with doing this mark here on it. Um, and if you want to get a mark that looks like this, the way that we do that is we use this wax paper. And you can see through the wax paper, you see? And so then you can draw and you can get a mark that is the same as the previous marks on there. So if you want something that's going to blend in with this previous work, mm -hmm. you're going to do something like this here, because that, that way the marks will blend. Mm -hmm. And this will be etched less. If you want a mark that's going to stand out differently, yeah. then you can use that tool there and you can use that to define it. So, so those are what the differences are. The other thing is that I would definitely stop out most or all of this upper part now because I think it's time to let this go and let this recede into the background more. These marks are going to be light in here because they're not deeply etched, but I think they're etched sufficiently that they'll, that they'll come up and, uh, and this guy here we wanted to push back anyway. So I would take this whole top now and take okay. that out. Now if you want to leave a few streaks in there or something, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I would like to make some kind some of texture in there. Yeah, texture. Yeah, 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 that makes a lot of sense. Nothing wrong with mm -hmm. that. So, so you go ahead and do that. And if you want to do some, like you want to keep some highlights up down yeah, here, this you know, is a, this that's fine. Is. That's fine. Go to it. Absolutely. Okay.